All right, I've got a problem. And also this doesn't work. Um, this sucky boy really sucks at sucking. I already went in there once and greased up the plunger on the inside of there thinking that's what it was that I just washed out all the grease with um, brake fluid or something when I was sucking something out of there, but that ain't it. I think what the problem is, is this O-ring down in here so much play I have just in this upper part of the handle, which uh, probably should be uh, a crisp zero amount of play. So um, I'm thinking that O-ring is shot somehow. It got sand in or something and just wiped it. So I've got a big old box of O-rings down here. So I'm hoping one of these is the right fit. We can throw that in there and fix the problem. If not, I'm going to cry because I can't find replacement parts for this thing. So anyway, let's dig into it again. All right. Well, here she is gutted. Uh, the reason why mine is broken is because I was never able to get this lock ring off. Um, so I just assume it didn't come off. Um, turns out it does. Uh, I just had to use a, a fucking strap wrench to get mine off the first time now that I'm actually having to get in there so yeah fun fact um that comes off and then the whole top comes out and you can just dump that out i've been having to dump it through the fill uh through the inlet this entire time which works fairly well but i have a feeling that all the crud has just flooded into this system and has wiped that uh o-ring out which is probably the crux of all my problems it also washed a lot of the grease out of there i already came in here and greased this guy up um again just with some wheel bearing grease and that helped it out a fair bit but uh not all the way so yeah, um, I need to get that O-ring out down in there because it is wiped and does not, not protrude out of that bushing anymore. However, I already tried getting that bushing out, it didn't work. Um, I'm gonna try a new tactic of beating on it harder with a bigger object, and that'll probably do it. Um, first I gotta take the snap ring out, but anywho, um, let me just go over the guts of this real quick. Um, so, this is your plunger right in here. There's a spring on it, which keeps just keeps you from slamming into that. Um, it's held on uh, just with a threaded nut down here on the bottom. It's got an O-ring on it. My O-ring's still in good shape. Um, that tube is greased. Um, in order to get this down to this point, take that lock ring off. This whole thing sluices out of the top. Just go ahead and take your hoses off, too. They're just going to get in your way. Um, and make sure to pull the, um, the, whatever it is, the vent valve out before you take the lock ring off because you will break something and once you get down in here it is a phillips head you just loosen that a little bit and that allows you to take this nubbins off of here and once you have that nubbins off then you can unthread that cylinder from in there um, and then that'll just leave this piston right here in order to get the piston off you have to pop this rubber cap out of the top of the handle and there's a big phillips head in there then you hold on to the bottom of the shaft with towel or something just trying to get too much grease on yourself hold that break it free it's not on there with a lot of torque then take the handle off then you can slide the shaft out of there and then you can pull this spring off of here just so that you don't forget it oh yeah and also uh this is a um check valve and that guy sits down in there so you can pull that guy out out get out of the way too um there are two big o-rings up here try not to rotate this thing inside of there because it'll bunch up the o-rings just pull it up and out um there's an o-ring right here and there is not an o-ring but there is kind of a seal right in there um this is your um stop valve it's a float valve um if you fill this thing all the way up to this level this guy will float and it'll go up in here and jam that and then that is the inlet that supplies this um so that you can pull air out of here and push it out through there so yeah um the air is getting out it's being pushed out here so it flows from inside of this, up through this guy, into here, wherever that is, right there, that little port down in there, fills up this cylinder, and then you slide the piston forward that pushes all that air out here, past that check valve, through here, out, and into atmosphere. So that's how you are pulling vacuum out of here. And because that o-ring has sealed up in here, or has failed up in here, every time I push this piston down, it just sucks air. Um, right from atmosphere through here and then pushes it back out that way. So that's what's screwing me up. So I'm going to try and get in there and get that out and I will report back whether I've broken it or not. All right, well, I managed to get the bushing out. I just flipped that guy up or took the snap ring out, flipped that guy upside down and then just got on it with a big flathead. Just jammed it in there at a 45 degree angle and just gave it two or three good uh, love taps and it, it spilled out the top. And um, here's the old O-ring. It does not look bad in any way, shape and form, but for whatever reason, it's not sealing. Um, 
So what I've done is I've taken the wrong size O-ring, which is a A110 or a um, 3 8 by 9 16 by 3 30 seconds. I probably needed uh, 9 16 by 7 16 by 1 8 And I think I actually have one in here. Oh yeah, no, that's a 1 16 But anyway, what I did is I used the golden rule of thumb for O-rings, which is you just put it on there and you beat it until it self clearances, which uh, is not, don't, don't ever do that. But I'm doing that um, just because I have tons of O-rings. It's cheap. I don't have one of those. It's 10 at night on a fucking Sunday. I'm not going to go find another O-ring tonight. So what I've done is just self clearance this one. And uh, it seems to seal just fine. And this will allow me to put all of this back together and test to see if that was actually my problem. Because if this solves my problem, then all I know is that it was the, this O-ring. And I'll just run this until it fails again and then I'll go get the proper O-ring for it. So I'm going to slap all this back together and see if that fixes my problem or if it's something else. I really don't know what the hell it would be if that's not it. Um, yeah. So we're going to do that. All right. Well, that did precious little. So I can only assume that this O-ring is bad. And I mic this out. And I'm pretty sure this is metric um, because that other O-ring was, as far as I could tell, not SAE. Um, but anyway, the imperial measurements I got out of this thing were... Um, 1 and 19 30 seconds uh, internal diameter and 5 30 seconds external diameter. But that could be um, either 40 or 41 millimeter with a 4 millimeter um, uh, width. So, so I'm going to look online and see if I can find a standard size that is um, close enough to that. Um, whether metric or SAE, maybe both. I don't know. It depends on how much they are. And I'll also go to the hardware store and poke around and see if they have anything um, this big and odd lying around but hopefully it's some kind of standard metric size and i can you know pick up a pack of like 30 for like five bucks or something like that or like one for like a dollar at the hardware store we'll see but it is a uh, not getting done tonight okie dokie well i went to the hardware store and i bought one of these which is a danko number 49 it's a one and seven eighths by one and five eighths uh with a one eighth um, um cross section um, and I'm hoping this works. This is a common um, faucet size. It cost me a buck. And hopefully that restores this thing and it works just fine once I throw it in there. If not, then this is a metric system. And my best guess is that this is that a 41 millimeter ID by 48 millimeter OD by 3.5 millimeter cross section O-ring will work, which will be um, a little bit beefier than this. It'll be a little bit thicker. This is a three millimeter. Um, going up to a 3.5 would probably take up that air gap that I think is causing my problem. Um, but yeah, this guy is still pretty flexible. There's nothing really visibly wrong with it. This guy is mildly softer. I really don't know if this is going to work, but if this doesn't work, um, I really have no idea what the heck is wrong with this thing. Um, so yeah. Let's give it a shot and hope for the best. Alright, so I swapped the new O-ring in and it's still not doing anything. Um, still just as freewheeling as ever. No suck action at all. So something else somewhere is messed up. Uh, either that or that O-ring was supposed to be a lot larger than that. Um, anywho, uh, I can't imagine that because the thing doesn't have any flat spots. It doesn't look that bad. It's a little petrified, but I mean, it's, it's not horrible by any means. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe there's some other part that was in there that just like melted. And it's just gone into the ether, and I'm just running around with like a chicken with my head cut off. But anywho, I bust out the big guns, so I have the actual vacuum pump. And I hooked that up to this, and I've just pulled vacuum on it. And I'm sitting around waiting to hear a hiss to find out how the hell the, you know, air is getting into this thing. And there's, you know, nothing. Nothing from up there. But, you know, it's not doing any of the suck. But there is vacuum in there. So I really don't know what the hell the case is. It's just that plunger, I guess. Um, I don't know what whether there was just supposed to be big fat globs of grease or if that O-ring was supposed to be huge or something, but I don't know. The, the only thing I can try now is getting a fatter O-ring. Um, I'm going to have to get a metric size and uh, just pray, but I really don't think that's the problem. But there is so little out there that um, I don't really have another option other than to just keep throwing O-rings at this. Well, after playing around with the vacuum pump and the air compressor, I can confirm beyond a shadow of a doubt, it is the ceiling between this plunger and um, this housing. So either that O-ring got smaller or this housing got bigger. And considering this is like eighth inch wall ABS, um, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that swole up. Um, 
And also, I don't really know where the rest of the O-ring could have gone. I don't know how it could have shrunk. I mean, the only other thing I can think of at this point is to grab some, like, high mileage engine oil that has seal swellers or something like that. You know, some of this casserole or something, because high mileage oils have um, seal swellers in them. And just let that thing, like, soak and see if the O-ring swells up a little bit. Throw it back in there and see if that works. Um, because, yeah, I'm not putting any more grease in there. Um... And unless I can get my hand on some some big fat metric O-rings, um, there's nothing else more I can try. I can this thing will hold vacuum, so it's not leaking the at atmosphere, which means whatever the issue is is somewhere between this float valve and this exit. And I can I can hook I can take this guy off, hook the air compressor up, and just blow shit tons of air clear through here, so that passage is clear. And if I blow air in the other direction, nothing goes through because that guy is properly sealing. I don't know whether it's sealing or the correct pressures because, you know, we're only talking a couple PSI pushing out. Um, I already tried squeezing the spring down as far as I could. I don't think that's the issue. Um, it's just that that thing is not pushing air. The air go, it pushes down and the air just goes around it. It's just not sealing. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what more to say. Um, look at that mole cricket. What are you doing in here? I don't know what more to say. Um, I gotta get a big fat O-ring or try and make the old one swell up. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll play around with that and hope for the best. I don't want to have to spend our hundred bucks on a damn fluid extractor just because the O-ring went. Okie dokie. Well, uh, I'm gonna throw everything back together and we're gonna let that guy marinate and then we'll fast forward and we'll see if something happens. Uh, uh. All right, it's been close to a week, and um, this guy's been soaking in the high mileage oil and it is better. Um, it's not a lot better, but it is better. Um, uh, however, I just went ahead and ordered some um, metric O-rings that are a little bit bigger. And we're going to throw one of those in there and see if it seals. Um, and um, hopefully it does, and then uh, we're done with this. So let me do that real quick and then pray. All right, well, despite me ordering a metric size that should have been a half millimeter wider than the other one, um, this one is also just as loose, if not even looser. I don't know if you can hear that, but... It's the internal play in there, and um, there's a distinct lack of sucking going on. So uh, yeah, that sent me back like seven bucks. Um, we're starting to get into the territory of if I start throwing any more money trying to buy the correct size O-ring, um, we might as well have just bought another fucking sucky boy and uh, called it a day. Um, so yeah. I don't really know what to do at this point. I'm wondering if that whole chamber, like, deformed or something. Um, because I can't imagine that the O-ring shrunk that much. Um, so, yeah. Uh, don't really know, but something, something fucky is going on for sure. All right. It has now been several months. I don't even remember how many. Probably, like, four or five. It's now... Mid to late February, I don't remember when the last time I was working on this thing. October, November or something? I don't know. Future me is going to put it up on the screen right now. Um, I've done nothing. It's just been sitting there uh, this whole time, and I've needed it like three times, but I've made do. These guys have just been sitting here in this oil this whole time, collecting dust. And uh, I'm just going to pull this sucker apart, slap... I don't even remember which one of these is new one. I'm assuming it's this, it's this one that's covered in grease and thicker. I'm just going to slap that back in here and see if it makes a difference. I did just order some new, even larger O-rings. And when they get here, we'll see if that works. And if that doesn't work, we're going to take this and just throw it in the dumpster uh, and buy a new one because there's nothing I can do at this point. And that was, uh, it served me well. It was worth the $90 I paid for it. I just wish it wouldn't have died. Probably shouldn't have filled it up full of gear oil and diesel and then tipped it upside down several hundred times. You know, it pays to be stupid or it costs to be stupid, whatever the term is. Okay, so that's back together, and we're still not sucking. So, yeah, well, we got one more set of O-rings going. It's a last-ditch copium effort, and we'll see if I can fix this, and if not, it's becoming parts. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, got some O-rings in. That's what size we went with, so let's huck them in here and see if they do something. All right, that new thick boy's in. Let's see if it'll actually, uh, you know, do something or... Make some kind of seal, maybe. 
Oh, that sounds really good. Maybe, just maybe, there's hope. All right, well, it probably took six months, but this thing is finally given the good suck again. So <laughs> it's fixed. It just took months and probably, God, $25 worth of O-rings? You want to talk about a scam. These fuckers were $5 a piece. This was $15 for three fucking O-rings. That is trash. Good God, fleecing America. I, I think this, this two-pack that I got over here for these guys, no, this was the one that I bought from the hardware store. I think the other one I bought, I think those were like 2 or $3 a piece. That is just fucking outrageous. It's a fucking single O-ring. Anyway, I digress. Didn't need to be that hard. I'm still not entirely sure what the hell the problem was with this thing, whether or not the original O-ring like shrunk by 50% just in diameter, just in, you know, actual wall diameter and not an overall diameter because it's still the same outside like diameter and inside diameter but the actual thickness of the rubber is like half of what it should be or what I'm leaning for leaning towards is that I sucked come some kind of something up in here and got it on all of this plastic and it absorbed into that black um, plastic vacuum cylinder and the whole plastic cylinder expanded by like a half millimeter overall, just, you know, about much, something like that. I don't know, but it works now. It sucks. It sucks good. It's very sucky. Yes. Yes. Sucks better than it ever has. So, yeah, uh, this has been a complete mess of a video, but I hope this helps somebody else out here. Um... The one that finally eventually helped me was a 41 by 49 millimeter O-ring. And this is probably only applicable to these OEM tools um, that use the same sucky boy head as this one. So yeah, I'm glad to finally have this thing back in action. I'm sure I'll ruin it again very shortly. But at least I have three more replacement O-rings. Um, yeah, I'm not putting any more money into this thing. Uh, if you like this kind of crap, I don't know why, but consider giving the video a like, comment, tell me how much of an idiot I am. And uh, that I've wasted too much money on this already and it's taken way too long and that this video is complete fluster clock. And uh, if you want to see more garbage like this for some inexplicable reason, then you got to subscribe. So smash the big red button. And until next time, Tom out.